Salutations, this is Grim DeVel. Uh, welcome back to our Let's Play of The Longing. Um, <laughs> you may notice that we don't have a mushroom, and not much time has passed since the last episode, just a few seconds. Uh, the, the, the key is that I have set up to start and stop recording. I hit Control F9 to start recording on OBS, and Control F10 to stop. And with this game, sometimes I click stop recording instead of hitting my shortcuts. Uh, last episode I didn't. I hit Control F10. And apparently one of those buttons, uh, made me eat the mushroom we were carrying. Don't know which one, but we no longer have the mushroom, which was the whole reason we basically wasted an episode getting, uh, getting an episode, uh, getting an episode, getting a mushroom and coming back here. And now we don't have one because I ate it because I, I used my shortcut to stop recording. Uh... I guess it was F10. I guess F10 or control F10 is is action. Use your action. Or maybe it's just any button. I don't know. But lesson learned. I think we're just going to keep going left, though, because we discovered last episode that even coming this far, the mushroom pretty much did nothing. I think the mushroom is is has no value here. So we're just going to keep going left. Um... We started this episode right where we heard sand underneath our feet, or at least something that wasn't solid rock. Maybe it was like gravel or dirt or something. And uh, But we don't have anything. We have nothing. So we're just going to keep going left. It's at least a sign that we are moving. We are moving even though we can't see where we're going. And we're just going to continue left or as far as we can. Maybe maybe the whole episode. Maybe 30 minutes. Who knows? And I don't... Uh, you know, who knows what's going to happen. I'm hoping... Like, all of this stuff that we're walking through, because we did hear a different sound, I'm hoping that at some point it'll all light up for us. But I have no idea how that would happen. Maybe we get a torch. Oh, maybe we do get a torch. That would be interesting. Or maybe this darkness curse or something is lifted. Because that seems to... I mean, it's an unnatural darkness. We had bioluminescence with our mushroom in it. It's not doing anything anymore. Hmm. So I have no topics of conversation prepared for today. I have no, no questions have been asked. Uh, or maybe they have, but not since I last checked. Um... And we got to talk about something while we're just blindly walking in the darkness to the left. Uh, I will say that after it seems like we're getting close to the end end game here. Um, although it seemed that way for a while, so maybe I shouldn't say that. But it feels that way, uh, and I am excited about moving forward. There are a few things I want to play. Um, Caves of Cud, as of today or yesterday. Um, had a big new update, and I love Caves of Cud. Uh, and I may play Caves of Cud. Caves of Cud is the game where that usually only lasts about 10 ish episodes for me before I die. So it's the kind of thing where I can just like, oh, I'll just play a little Caves of Cud series. And I know it's probably not gonna be one of those things that's like 75 episodes as some of my ser series tend to be. Um, but I also, I know people have been looking forward to. Um, people that watch this series, I've gotten more than one person enthusiastically suggesting that I play a game called Hollowed Night. I think that's the name. And I, it looked cool. Um, and I don't think it's the sort of thing that I usually, that's like a staple kind of game for my channel. But all, at the same time, it didn't look like something that I wouldn't play either. So I'm, def I'm I'm excited about giving that a shot. I'm excited about putting that on my channel. And I feel like I probably should go straight into that game from this game because the people that like this game seem to be very excited about my playing that game. So uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about giving Hollow Knight a shot. Um, but I do also wonder, like, when am I going to get to play the new Caves of Cud? Um, I want to play... Uh, I don't know. There, I feel like there are always updates. There are always new games. There are other roguelikes that I've never played on my channel that I would love to play. Because um, I, if you haven't noticed, I like playing roguelikes. True roguelikes. True roguelikes. Um, you know, I, I would also love to play on my channel 
um, multiplayer Baldur's Gate style games like uh, like um, what are they the uh, Divinity the Divinity Original Sin games um, or Baldur's Gate 3 when that comes out I would love to play those games with friends but I don't think those games would be possible for the granite accidents to play together just because they're the kinds of games where when you play with friends you kind of have to commit it's kind of like playing dungeons and uh oh okay seems to be we're going behind some kind of cave or something okay no more noise Oh, now there is. We're going up. Okay. Exciting. Well, um, you know, you need like a regular commitment, a regular and, and substantial time commitment from the same group of people to be able to play a game like that with friends. <gasps> light! And there was light! And this is looking kind of like the K, like the mines that we saw below. Yes, I have left the darkness behind me. Uh, in our in our dreamscapes, this looks similar. Okay. Yeah, you've got the the wood there that that looks like a mine shaft. Uh, you know what's it? Uh, support beams. Do I pick up a rock here? What is this? Can I go left? So anyway, I well, while I would love to play those games on my channel with friends, I don't think the Granite Accidents are really the only people I play with. Ten wood. We can make a bed now. We can finally make a bed. And make a bed we shall. Maybe we won't need to come back here. Uh, wait, can I can I keep going right? No. We need gold coins. I'm way too far away from the king now, but strangely, I don't feel the need to turn back. We will turn back. The plan is to turn back. And I hope I don't screw that up. I think if we see like a door, a lit up door, we should not go through it. I think that's the trigger we should not trigger. Because trigger is a noun and a verb. Um, hmm, ladder, okay, that's not daylight up there, I think we probably will go up that ladder, but not quite yet, let's keep going right here first, that is another, that's a, a mattock, or something stronger than a mattock? Oh, we have two Maddox. Excellent. All right, Hidden Passage. Let's check you out. This is very exciting. Um, I stopped. I stopped walking. This looks like the a well must go up there. I'm a little nervous about walking through this. I don't want to fall in and not be able to get out. I kind of want to look at the clues that Muscar gave me. Hold on, I, I think I am. I'm going to search for his clues here. Uh, and again, they were cautionary clues. He says, small heads up, you're approaching a possible ending. Once you encounter it, you probably realize what would trigger it. It won't happen by accident if you keep it in mind. I want to let you know you can explore the next area a little bit without further concern. There's one thing in particular I would really like to see you do. Blah, blah. Um, uh, another comment. The ending eventually requires entering a very special door, but no further prompts, so be careful. Okay, this is not a door. But I'm Okay, good. We're at the bottom of it here. 
This is an old well. I thought maybe we'd come out of the top and just fall in. This is an old well. Maybe some people from the outside world still use it. I should hope they wouldn't be afraid of me. And yeah, this makes me think maybe that's how we got in here. Maybe we fell down. That's cool. That definitely goes to the well we've seen in our dreams. And that must mean that, like, outside is right up here. We go up that ladder. We don't have any coins. I have a theory. That maybe, you know how we have that treasure room and that's how we broke our first mattock? Maybe you need to use three mattocks on it. Or two mattocks, maybe. I don't know. Um... And then it'll break. Maybe we have to break a certain amount of Maddox. Yeah, we'll pick up more boards. I think we need another disappointment too, so. But it looks like there's nothing else to get here really, right? Which hopefully means we don't really have to come back here. I think I will save this area. Um... Where am I going to save it? Um, here? Yeah, we don't want this place anymore. Save that. Overwrite it. Okay. Okay. I don't see a door up here. There it is. The realm beyond the kingdom. The place the king warned me about before he went to sleep. Wow. I mean, we can't get out. We can inspect the stones. What a tragedy. The exit is blocked by granite. Even a mattock won't help me here. So close and yet so far. Uh, I feel like I should have gotten a disappointment from that. Because he said, what a disappointment. Huh. You know, I'm going to save, I'm going to overwrite it with right here. Okay, so we got the, we got the board, we got the wood, but we did not get the coins, which, which supports my theory, I think, that we use all of these Maddox on the treasure room. We can at least afford to use a second one. I don't know where else we would get coins. Oh, wait, wouldn't we get coins from a wishing well? Maybe we hang out in the well. And over time, over time, I bet people throw coins in the well. This is making sense to me. I bet that happens. But I bet we have to wait a while in the well. That's, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that there will be coins in the well if we wait here. Which makes me think that we should end the episode here. The thing is, I'm I'm nervous because we only have 27 days left. That that's that's a substantial amount of time. I mean, that's basically 4 weeks. Um a little less. Um but really, you know, three weeks of safe waiting gameplay. Is that okay? I mean, I feel like, like I said, it feels like we're in the end game. In theory, it feels like the game really shouldn't last longer than three weeks, which would be, uh, you know, um, which would be... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Nine, just nine more episodes. I think that's realistic. And I think I will just wait here. I'm not sure if I'm going to wait an entire week. I might, I might play in the middle of the week, maybe, and we'll see how it goes. But I may, I may just wait until next weekend. I feel pretty strongly about this theory that this is how we get gold coins. It makes sense to me because this well doesn't seem to have any other purpose. 
we can't mine here. It's there's nothing we can do in here. It's just weird. It's just like, okay, that exists. Um, and in theory, also, maybe this is how you actually get out. Maybe. Because the other way is totally blocked in. Regardless, though, we, we have no way of knowing how we would get, get out of here. Unless another we brought another spider and it made a big web. But I don't know how we would do that. I... I feel like we've, you know, we, if we wait a week or just or even just a few days and we come back here next time we play and there are no gold coins in the well, I think I'll think like, okay, my theory was foolish. It was, it was a good theory, <laughs> but, but ultimately wrong. Um, in which case I'll feel more strongly about my multiple Matic in the treasure glass theory um but i think this is a more realistic theory this makes sense to me so we're going to try this and then that still leaves us with even though we don't want to win or not win but we don't want to end the game by going to the outside world i still wonder how do you get to the outside world i was kind of expecting when we got up here there would just be a way out a door that you could go through but that wasn't the case. So there must be some other mechanic uh, that we need to that we need to trigger that we need to do to be able to get that exit. Uh, however, we are still missing two uh, clues from the face, two answers from the face. One of them you get with gold coins. The other one you get with disappointments. And can I see my list of disappointments? I don't think I can. I think we need to go back to our lair to view that list. And yeah, because we do also want to go back to the lair to build our bed. Um, and probably to read our journal again. We definitely have less than four weeks. We have less than 27 days. Time there will pass quickly. Um, we're not going to go there yet. We're going to stay here. I think the plan is stay here for a few days, maybe a week. A little less than a week because I'm recording this on a weekday. Um, but probably next weekend I'll pick this back up. Then um, see if there are coins. Uh, if there are coins, uh, hope there are three coins. If there are like one or two coins, but we haven't waited long enough for a third... Uh, I don't know. Then I, I'm not sure what we're going to do. We might spend an episode just kind of like exploring this area again but i think we need to wait here for coins um maybe walking back through the darkness i don't know well we could always end an episode by coming up here so i guess if there are yeah even if there is one or, or one or two coins and not all three i think we'll still head back somewhere else I don't know how we don't have another disappointment. Maybe I got one and didn't notice. But I feel like we really should have gotten one up here. And I'm a little worried about having missed a final disappointment. But that 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 should have counted as a disappointment. I'm just not sure until we look at our journal or talk to the face. So next episode, we'll start here. We'll head back. We won't get very far. Um, we might actually, because we, we can't actually get all the way back next episode to our lair or otherwise. Next episode, I think we might do a little more exploring in this area. See if I've missed anything. I don't think I did, but just to make sure we didn't miss a disappointment somewhere. Then start walking back through the darkness. See if anything's changed. Maybe now that we've gone to this area, that area will have changed. Although I have a feeling maybe... There's some mechanic that we need to learn from the face and our journal, maybe, that maybe lights that area up for us. I don't know. Um, so next episode, we'll walk back through that darkness. And then at the end of that episode, we'll probably say, head back to the lair. There we'll build a bed, look at our journal, and then come up with a new plan. That's it. Uh, we're uh, 10 seconds until 20 minutes, in which case I feel like it's safe to call it an episode. I would love a coin to just drop. 
I would love to see that. I like him sitting in this well. He's, I feel like he's, he belongs here. He's a little troll in a well. All right. Bye, little shade. I enjoyed playing with you all today. I really did, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.